Hello okay. everyone, let's discuss the Dark Crimson Vipers gang who escape jail after Cyber Sangurai gives them a payback for what they did to Sapphire. And now, they're back to eliminate Cat, and they're about to make some more trouble in Katakana City and in Dalka City, and for whenever their evil schemes are doing, they're about to put more people and wild troublemakers into stress. Okay, Cyber, you go first. Well Itavio, it seems to me that Chaz was the one who was behind all the plans that he would help the evil mayor of West End Docker City, Rylan Cross and his manager, Maya Andrews, and the three members I described as Daigo, Shelley and Weston helped out the three break the Dark Crimson Vipers gang out of prison so they can get their evil petty revenge to murder anyone as the villains are on the kidnapping spree. I thought we already put those Karma Houdinis in prison. But no, they just have to be ignorant and they're back to cause serious chaos to everyone in the city. Yeah, we cannot believe those scumbags had the audacity to help the Dark Crimson Vipers gang to escape jail, but they just don't care. And now they're up to their horde plans to go after a victim for their petty vengeance. Maybe we'll give them a piece of our minds if we have the chance to. Hey Cyber and Sapphire, I understand that you two are angry, but let's just take it down a notch. But it might seem to be that bad or worse, our objective is to protect Cat from the Dark Crimson Vipers fiends, that might have the opportunity to keep Cat safe with the help of Amelia, Wash and Scara. So Sapphire, how are you feeling since Signe and Garna got you traumatized since you feel any better? Well, I'm not feeling traumatized, Otavio. I still can't believe they would have the nerve to do this to me, just because Garnet and Sydney are suspended for attacking and hurting me just because I was a smart girl. Master Ka reversed all of my traumatic events since last two months ago. I swear, if I see them again, I'll use my Snow Super Saiyan and use my Ultimate Ice Ball to freeze Tobias, Sydney and Garnet into a popsicle. That's good to hear Sapphire. I'm glad you feel better from a fever that you've had three weeks ago, and it's all thanks to the magic medicine that Bo and Alexa made for you, and there for the pharmacies in the world. Any tactics that we need to protect Cat from the Dark Crimson Vipers gang? That will be a perfect plan for the tactics that we need to defend Cat. This is what I've been expected, I bet I have a feeling that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are going after another victim as soon as possible. We'll keep the tactics on track to protect Cat one way or another before it gets worse, they might appear to kidnap and cause serious trouble around Kadokana City and Andaka City. In that case, we'll get Rio, Maria, Solo Solo. Sala Sala and the others to get involved to help them out. We'll take action as the Dark Crimson Vipers are ready to hatch another plan, this might have some great details about the plans for their assault. Then I guess you're right about the perfect tactics that we need to get Solo Solo, and Sapphire involved as well to help the victim from the attack of our rivals. Since their master she reversed Sapphire's traumatic event that happened two months ago. Okay, we'll get Sapphire to help us well since she's not traumatized and scared. So Ultra Cyber Waves and Warriors, what else was happening ever since Garnet escaped the hospital? It might be certain that they have gotten smarter with their tactics as usual. Other than that, Garnet and the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad are willing to get the Wildruff Squad into their plotting. That information about their plans shows obtained details for their planning to kidnap another victims as they're running in circles, usually the fact that the teenagers next door are involved as well as for what they are doing. So I see, we all heard about the plan to go after Agnes Tyson of their victims as they're going to do some horrific actions, and getting the Wildrip Madness squad involved as well. Let's just stay focused on protecting Kit from the Owl House. Same here. And me three, I still can't believe that those spoiled karma has had the audacity to target my best friend Cat. I swear, if they ever lay a finger on Cat, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind so I can kick their butts right behind my back. And not to mention that those psychotic fiends had the audacity to escape the parish penitentiary, this proves that they can't handle comeuppance, payback and criticism that I could think of. Hey, Bascha, please calm down. They'll have another way to defend our friend Cat from the attack by the Dark Crimson Vipers gang after they escape the parish penitentiary. Yeah, and we do need to save our friend by getting the users involved into our help if that's possible. I have a feeling that they have a tracking device that you may have forgotten. Okay. I'll just have to calm myself down, and I'll just have to take one step at a time now. Feeling better now, boss Cha? Yeah, much better. Hey Cyber, after the Dark Crimson Vipers gang have escaped prison with the help of Chaz Grimmington, 
Rylan Cross, Maya Andrews, Daigo, Shelley, and Weston, I think I need to tell you something for me. What if the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad are planning to take over Katakana City that the mayors of Katakana City and the vice mayors as hostages in the future planned invasion? To answer your question, then yes. I'm aware that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are willing to cause chaos in Katakana City along with the help of Chaz Grimmington. If the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad are planning to invade Katakana City and holding the mayor and the vice mayor's hostage in the future, we will put a stop to those scumbags and save Katakana City from those creatures. After that, those Cyberpunk Wave Madness fiends will be put to jail and face the death penalty for putting people into a serious trauma and stress afterwards. Right on Cyber Samurai. We need to address the mayors of Katakana City as they plan to invade Katakana City. The city is at stake here and they are going to put us all into a serious situations as they plan to destroy the land of Katakana City, Vian City, Endika City, and the entire world due to their sinister plots awaited them. So we'll be willing to save Katakana City and put those monsters into their places as their comeuppance for their horrific actions. I'm totally with you on this one cyber. We're gonna put an end to their sinister plot as they have the tracking device to after another victims as they run into circles. We'll go to the Hall of Pyro Magicians and be ready for the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad assault, and we'll put a stop to them from happening. Me too. Me three. Me four. And me five. We thought the Dark Crimson Vipers gang is already in jail for what they did to your girlfriend Sapphire, and now they decided to escape prison with the help of Dago, Shelly, and Weston and get away from being punished, yeah? Oh, I can't wait to give those spoiled Karma Houdinis some punishment day and get their asses whipped with our belts. I'm going to be honest with you solo solo, I can't believe they have the audacity to help out the Dark Crimson Vipers fiends to escape prison after Cyber gave them a payback. This proves that they cannot handle being punished, giving them payback and criticism. When we see those two in person, we're gonna give Ryland Cross and Maya Andrews some ass whopping with our belts as well. Exactly, Solo Solo and Sala Sala, those spoiled hypocrites under Karma Houdinis didn't have no heart and no life at all, and fact that Sydney has any cruel intentions to the mild troublemakers which Sydney deserves. So Otavio, are you ready to give those spoiled Karma Houdini some karma after they had the audacity to escape prison to cause more chaos and trouble and they're back with their petty plans to kidnap Cat from the Owl House? Yes I am, Cyber Sam Gorai. We'll be ready to defend Cat from the Dark Crimson Vipers gang, and I can't wait to beat those bastards up with my purple tornado powers, put them into their places as they're about to face their comeuppance for their evil acts. And don't forget, sooner or later. We're ready to expose their plans to give them what's coming for those scumbags for what they're planning to do. Yeah, and the evil mayor and his manager are the ones are responsible to break them out of prison with the help of Daigo, Shelley and Sydney's brother Weston. And they're planning to eliminate their targets as soon as they're on the loose to get their petty revenge, so now they're back to cause trouble. Let's not forget, I can feel Riland and Mai's evil presence that's coming from my vision as I was meditating. And I can't believe Garnet escaped jail after the trauma that they put me through since sophomore year back in my school, and I'm not traumatized anymore. Oh I see, while you've been having a fever while Cyber, Matthew, Solo Solo, Sala Sala, Rio and his teammates, our leader at Davio and our crew are settling the score with those Dark Rims and Vipers fiends, you've sensed an evil presence that Rylan Cross and Maya Andrews are planning to escape the parish penitentiary. After Tobias. Sydney and Garnet are put into a hospital while they deserve a taste of their own medicine for what they did to me. While I was sleeping with a sickness, Cyber gave me a small portion of a magic medicine while he left it on the nightstand, and now those scumbags decided to steal all of the magic medicine that my ever-faithful conscience and a great friend Uga, you and Bo made for pharmacies, I'll get my revenge on those Karma Houdinis who put me into a lot of stress and I'll use my ultimate blizzard ice ball to make those three into a popsicle. Oh, so those Dark Crimson Vipers fiends have the nerve to give back their powers after Cyber gave me something that I already took away their power to prevent them to kill anyone tonight, and not to mention that they brought a doppelganger that intimidates our powers. I'm still gonna get their asses whipped with our belts, they're not gonna get away from us for any longer. Yeah, I agree with you solo solo, those Dark Crimson Vipers fiends have gone too far. 
I cannot believe they would have the nerve to break them out of the parish penitentiary, and Maya Andrews steals the little magic medicine that me and Alexa was made for Safar Hamada so they can cure those three. Actually, Bao, that magic medicine that you and Alexa produce that was even made for pharmacies and other medical stores as products. You already gave me the little magic medicine that you and Alexia made for Sapphire and I went back to Hong Lai to cure Sapphire from the high fever she have before my Andrews steals the magic medicine so they can cure those monsters who traumatized Sapphire and escaped the hospital after I got them solid frozen as a payback. Oh, I can understand what you're saying Cyber Samurai. And Cyber Samurai, I forgot to tell you something. I can describe the names of Bosca's group members. The names of the members are Kat, Boscha, and Amelia. Also, I found my photo in my pocket and me and the team Banshees are having a group photo while practicing grudge by at Hex side. So I see, you must be Bosha and the team Banshees that you guys described to us? That's right, we're the team Banshee who are willing to play the grudge be match against Amity's team at Hexide, and this is the Ultra Cyber Waves and Warriors that Odavio told us about you guys. You're correct, Bosha. You have guessed it, we're the Ultra Cyber Waves and Warriors and we're known for saving innocent people's lives from the threat of the Cyberpunk Waves and Warriors. You must be the Ultra Cyber Waves and Warriors, right? I know who you guys are, we all need you help defend our friend Kat from the Dark Crimson Vipers gang and they're gonna track her down to kidnap my best friend, and we'll save her in no time. Anyways, here is the photo of us while we practiced grudge buy at Hex side that I found in my pocket. So I see, how did you get this photo, is that your teammates that what you've talking about? I have to tell you something about it Cyber. I found my photo in my pocket where I kept it forever. This is me alongside my teammates Boss Cha, Amelia and Kat are having a good time practicing grudge buy at Hex side before the game starts. Hold on a second Skara, what is grudge be anyway? That's a good question Sapphire, we've never heard about the sports game before. Allow me to explain about grudge buy. Grudge buy is a kind of sports based on the boiling aisles. It is all well played competitively between schools and the various schools of the aisles grudge buy is played between two teams of at least three players. The object is to score any points by getting a spherical ball through the opposing team's goal. Since magic is the part of the gameplay, all in the manner of magical obstacles may be used to hinder teams from scoring and the participants are allowed to cast spells to aid their games, even though this is not mandatory. The team that scores the most points within the time limit, win the game. Interesting, even though we haven't played this kind of sports game before. Perhaps that if you want to play grudge buy game someday, I'll be willing to help you to practice grudge buy if you're not that busy saving Katakana City afterwards. Okay, we'll try Grudby if Cyber and her crew are not busy saving the innocents and mild troublemakers as well as saving the city for peace. We would like to give our teammates a try practicing Grudby if they have the chance to. Excellent, me and the team Banshees will be looking forward to have you as our Grudby team, if you're interested. Hang on just a second Atavio, before we end this meeting, I didn't even know the team Banshees names that Skara described to the Ultra Cyber Wads and Warriors. Well solo solo, in case you didn't know the names of the team Banshees, their names was Bosha, she is the leader of the Grudgeby team at Hexied. And those three are Kat, Amelia and Ascara. Kat is in the living room comforting her while she gets nervous that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are gonna hunt her down. So that explains that Scara has already described the names of Bosha's team at Hexied, and they are far more worse than the Darkness Madness Devils. Even though I've never seen the Owl House before. Maybe you should watch it on Disney Plus if you have the subscription on Disney Plus. You get to know the characters' names you describe if you have to watch one of the episodes someday if you're that busy or not. If you don't have one, you should watch it online if you have the chance. It was just a suggestion. Okay then, I guess I'll get the Hulu and Disney Plus subscriptions that I haven't got someday. I'll have to work on something else, and I'm taking a break from making a Punishment Day videos out of the villains I hate for causing serious trouble and chaos around innocent people and mild troublemakers. I definitely agree with you on this one, Solo a Solo. Those vile villains are nothing but spoiled hypocrites with no life that can't handle payback, 
punishments, and criticism, and they continue to have any cruel intentions on people and mild troublemakers whenever they actually done nothing to them at all. I still can't believe Sydney and Garnet still have the nerve to put me into a serious trauma before I got a high fever after I tried to freeze Jared by making him into a popsicle, Tobias use his magic shield to defend him, they deflect my ice ball at me which caused me to get myself solid frozen, and the worst part of me is Sydney and Garnet are about to burn me into ashes with their powers. Don't they even realize that they almost gave me a 10th degree burn? For what those spoiled karma Houdinis did to me is attempted murder. Man, I feel even traumatized even more. There there, Sapphire, it's going to be okay. Those spoiled karma Houdinis are nowhere to be seen, our master Chi heals and reversed all the traumatic event that these two vile monsters ever did that to you. Don't worry Sapphire, you're not going to have nightmares, I promise you. Yeah, everything will be fine Sapphire. I was going back to the Supreme Purple Storms Gang's mansion by walking two months ago. I was hearing a crying sound coming from your mansion. I was looking at the window, I saw that you and Sapphire are having any sympathy after Solo Solo and Sala Sala hugs you while you and Sapphire are having an emotional moment after your girlfriend got traumatized by Sydney and Garnet Phillips ever did to you was horrid and vile. You already explained to Solo Solo that Sapphire was too scared to escape the nightmares of the Dark Crimson Vipers gang. You got it all wrong Wang Chomp, we wasn't here in Katakana City after Eitaro and the Golden Alliance came from a Marisu city called Waikiki City moved into Katakana City. We was in Honglei after me, my crew, Sarah and her squad are moving to another city unexpectedly, I thought it was a Marisu free city, but no. I just had to become like this after the Golden Alliance after me and saw realized the damages they did back in 2021 throughout 2022 year. Plus, Sapphire wasn't too scared to escape the nightmares of the Dark Crimson Vipers gang, Master Chi reversed all of her trauma that those spoiled Karma Houdinis and control freaks, and she won't be having any nightmares from Sydney, Tobias, and Garnet Phillips. I've already explained to Solo Solo and Sala Sala that Droll often is too scared to escape the nightmares of those vile karma Houdinis and control freaks, the Sydney wouldn't go this far as beating and decimating Troy before she's about to kill him with her lightning powers. Gladly, me, my crew, Jaden's crew, you and your teammates, Lindsay, her friends and their boyfriends came here to save Troy just in time before they head back to Katani to heal his injuries he had from Sydney. Oh I see. So it was Troy Lochran who was too scared to get through all of the nightmares of the Dark Crimson Vipers gang and I feel really sorry for him as well. We can understand that Cyber. I'm glad Sapphire is recovered from the high fever and your master reversed all of the trauma she had so the way Sapphire won't be having nightmares from Sydney and Garnet Phillips. But wait just the second, who are the Golden Alliance anyways? Can you describe the members of the members? Well, I'll explain the members of the Golden Alliance members. First off, the leader of the group named Rayataro D. Kumamoto, and his girlfriend from his crew named Lali Bunton. And I'm also going to explain the reason why they're becoming Mary Sue's after Cyber, Sarah, our crew, and the Sarah squad realized the damages they did for their actions. Oh I see, the Golden Alliance has taken troublemakers way too seriously and they don't have any weaknesses and personalities, we're not even allies to those bunch of Mary Sues after what we heard about you guys causing you to move to and another city unexpectedly along with your crew and the Sarah squad didn't like the fact that they've been taking troublemakers too seriously, especially for the Trixie squad. Even though we've never heard about them. I can assure that the last three years ago before New Year's Day, this guy named Kyle Kideona who was responsible for the murder of Trixie Prank for his actions. Then I guess the Golden Alliance has moved back to Waikiki City while the other members of the group are moving someplace else before you guys return to Katakana City. Don't you worry guys, the Golden Alliance has already left Katakana City to go back to the Marisu City called Waikiki City. Also, since Rio and Maria has told us that Sarah Tu Chi and the rest of the Battersons have moved to Golden Odd City before we leave Honglei as a returning party, and the saga continues. One more thing before you guys leave the conference room. Do you mind that Sapphire and Solo Solo help out the Team Banshees to defend one of the teammates from the Dark Crimson Vipers gang? 
Yes, then I guess Sapphire and Solo Solo will help us and the team Banshees out since she's not traumatized. All right everyone, that's it for the meeting and the discussion about the Dark Crimson Vipers gang has commenced. We should head back to our mansion. See you guys. Then that settles it. Then I guess me and Sapphire are going to the card game store to buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards for building the deck for mine and Sapphire's deck profiles, and then we'll be taking some rest afterwards. Me too. We'll be leaving the conference room along with our crew as well, and I'll be going to the game store for some Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. See you guys later.